Daily Pink Slip. From the Rosetta Stone to King Tut, we're counting down the 10 greatest real archaeological finds of all time. Number 10, the Dead Sea Scrolls. These ancient biblical manuscripts are found in a series of 11 caves near Qumran. This is near the Dead Sea, hence Dead Sea Scrolls. Mostly written on papyrus, not to be confused with the god-awful font, these scrolls are the earliest surviving copies of biblical documents ever found. They have been carbon dated to 33 AD, give or take a couple hundred years. The director of the Jordanian Department of Antiquities spent 40 years piecing these things together and still couldn't finish the job. Portions of the scrolls have been put on exhibition from time to time, but it's it's been a few years since any have been available to the public eye. Number 9. The Rosetta Stone This giant piece of granite was rediscovered in 1799 and captured by the British in 1801. This stone was monumental in deciphering ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. The tablet allows for translation of hieroglyphics into ancient Greek, which can then be translated into any language. So now you see why this language learning software is called Rosetta Stone. In 2003, the chief of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities asked for the return of the Rosetta Stone to Egypt. At the time of this video's release, it's still in the British Museum. Oops. Number 8. Pompeii. In 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius famously erupted near the Bay of Naples in Italy. The nearby city of Pompeii was engulfed in the aftermath of volcanic ash. At first, the falling debris made it difficult to breathe. Most people evacuated the city, but many stayed behind in their homes. A pyroclastic surge of superheated poison gas and pulverized rock blasted down the side of Vesuvius, swallowing everything in its path. More than 2,000 people died. In 1748, a group of explorers rediscovered Pompeii and found that the city was largely intact underneath the layers of ash. Skeletons, homes, and personal possessions were strangely preserved for almost 2,000 years. Three centuries later, archaeologists are still excavating and discovering more about the lost city of Pompeii. Number 7. The Terracotta Army In 1974, a few farmers were digging a well just east of the tomb of the first emperor of China. They discovered a bunch of terracotta sculptures, including soldiers, chariots, and horses. It's estimated that there are nearly 9,000 individual sculptures, all meant to protect Emperor Qin Shi Huang in the afterlife. The pits near the tomb still conceal far more sculptures than what is seen here. Many of these figures once held real weapons, most of which were looted at one point or have simply rotted away. The British Museum held an exhibition of the army in 2008, which ended up being the museum's most successful year. Number 6. The Cave of Altamira Hidden away in Spain lies this cavern that is full of paintings by prehistoric man. When this cave was discovered in 1880, there was a huge controversy on how old the drawings could actually be. Many did not believe that early humans were mentally capable of such drawings. By 1902, these cave paintings were deemed to be authentic works of prehistoric human beings. Some of the oldest works have been estimated by scientists to be more than 35,000 years old. This historic site was closed to the public in an effort to better preserve the integrity of the drawings. Drawings. Number 5. The Baghdad Battery This is quite simply a ceramic pot, a copper tube, and an iron rod. Combined, they form, well, some folks think that this was an ancient battery, but there's no true evidence to support that this was used as such. It is hypothesized that wine, lemon juice, or vinegar could have been used to generate an electrical current, but truly nobody knows for sure. And you know what that means the answer is. Boom! Number 4. The Antikythera Mechanism Discovered by sponge divers in 1900, this ancient analog computer was used to predict celestial phenomena. It consists of about 30 meshing bronze gears encased in a wooden box. What's particularly astounding is the age. This thing is from about 200 BC. A mechanical device of similar equivalents didn't show up again until the 14th century. Due to manufacturing constraints at the time, the design is thought to have been wildly inaccurate despite the astounding fact that it even exists. Several models have been made in an attempt to reproduce this mechanism, but the relic is not complete so they can't. You can see it in the National Archaeological Museum in Athens, Greece. Number 3. Knossos Discovered in 1878 on the Greek island of Crete, this is considered to be the earliest settlement in Europe. Sir Arthur Evans led the excavation from 1900 to 1935. This team attempted to restore the site to its original configuration. They uncovered an elaborate water management system, murals, scripts, and distinct pottery. But yeah, this is the oldest city ever. At least, they think. Number 2. Gebekli Tep. This site was excavated by Klaus Schmidt and his archaeological team from 1996 until his death in 2014. The purpose of these pillars and structures are still a mystery, but the size and complexity of the construction is highly unusual for the time period. One thing that most experts agree on is that it wasn't a human settlement and probably had some sort of religious significance. However, I think we can all agree this place really has that classic archaeological dig look to it.
Number one, Tutankhamun, or as you probably know him, King Tut. He died, was buried in an elaborate tomb, and then was famously discovered by Howard Carter in 1922. The whole world knew about it, and this discovery really boosted interest in ancient Egypt. More than 5,000 items were found in the tomb, all incredibly well preserved. The gold coffin, a face mask, thrones, weapons, and all kinds of other treasures were found, all meant to assist King Tut in kicking ass in the afterlife. Popular culture speaks of a pharaoh's curse that plagued those that opened the tomb. However, of the 58 people present during the event, only 8 died within a dozen years. So yeah, busted. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We put up brand new videos every week, so hit that subscribe button and you won't miss a single one. And remember, if you watched this video at work and you still have a job, then you just dodged the Daily Pink Slip.